I'm going to show you how to download the drivers so we can get the programmer working. We're going to use the drivers from sparkfun.com. I'm just going to look them up in Google. And you can see that the first link is new Sparkfun Electronics. Click on that link. And on the left hand side you have products. You're going to scroll down until you get to programmers and then AVR under programmers. The AVR is the Atmel line of microcontrollers. And here are a, a few a few products that you can use for programming. Uh, this is the device that I have and it's the the pocket AVR programmer that I use uh, it, which is compatible with the USB tiny ISP. So we're going to use these drivers. So click on here and scroll down to where you see Windows driver. You're going to click on this and a zip will download. It's called Pocket Prog Driver.zip. Unfortunately, there is a couple of files missing from these drivers, so we're going to have to put those in from the latest uh, LibUSB um, SourceForge files. So if you go down, scroll down, um, there's a a post by Beagle Boy. Uh, just click on the link that he provides and you can you can find the file, it's the first one. This is the latest version. It's a 1.2.2. Um, if there's a later version uh, at the time of um, you seeing this video, use the latest version, not, not this particular version. So click th on this one and you'll see a set of files, set of zips and, and one exe and one text. You want the libusb-win32-bin-1.2.2. We'll click on that link and it's downloading now. Okay, so you'll have two zip files that are downloaded. We'll need to unzip each of those files. I have mine going into um, a downloads folder and it'll be these two files. Unzip them however you want. Just make sure you have the, the folders that there is unzipped to in a location you can find easily. I use a zip utility to do this. And I'll do the pocket prog first. You can see that it created a, a folder here. And then I'm going to do the libusb. It's OK. You can see both of these folders are here. OK, if you're working with Windows 7, you can go ahead, you can go ahead and install the drivers as they come from SparkFun. But if you are using Windows 7, if you're also using Vista, 64-bit environment, you'll need to go into the 1.2.2 the folders and then under the bin AMD64 you're going to take the lib usb 0 dll and the sys file and you're going to rename them to underscore x64 and the same with this one the sys. After the zero, underscore x64. And then you're going to take these two, take these two files and you're going to copy them into, um, into the pocket prog driver folder. You're going to copy these two files from the 1.2.2 folder into the pocket prog driver folder and copy over the existing files. Now you should have this these files in the pocket prog driver folder and now we'll install it. To install these drivers I'm going to use the hardware legacy driver installation method. I simply go to the start menu I hover over computer, right click on computer and go to manage. 
and I go to the device manager and I right click under the computer name and I click on add legacy hardware click on the install the hardware that I manually select from a list just press next and I'm going to click the have disk button and I'm going to browse to the folder we just created the pocket prog driver and then you should it should open up a file uh, the INF file that is recognized by this wizard press OK next I'm doing this while I have the the USB tiny ISP programmer plugged into the computer press next it's okay if this says this Windows can't verify the publisher of this driver software um, go ahead and install the driver anyway and now it looks like it was installed so click finish